right after my clay is rolled out with the soft red rib I'm getting rid of all my canvas pattern get the surface nice and clean so I don't have to do that later it makes it a lot more difficult to do that later next here's my mold this is the one I'm going to use so instead of draping it straight on there I'm cutting it first I'm going to go straight around it Excess clay. And now I'm draping the clay on top of this mold. So I'm carefully getting it. My clean side, see this one still has a canvas pattern, is facing down on the mold. Make sure it is somewhat centered, right? And then you're gently going to push it all on there. I can use my rip to clean this up and also to use it to make sure it uh, follows the form. Don't worry about your edges yet. We will take care of that once it comes off the drape mold. So you're gonna let it sit on this drape mold for about a day. And then it, this clay should be stiff enough that you can take it off and it will hold its shape. But in the meantime, we can add feet to it, right? Because this isn't the foot. Um, there's different ways of making feet. You know how to make balls of clay. Uh, you can put a coil that's an oval as well. Maybe you have just straight lines for, um, you know, straight coils for feet. I'm gonna use the clay that I already have, right? This is the clay that I cut loose. So it's already even thickness. So why I might as well use it. I think this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make sure they're the same size. Get rid of my excess clay. Right, once the feet are sported and slipped on, right, we still need to clean it up. I like to use a damp small sponge and put one finger on the inside, one finger on the outside of the strip of clay and then keep blending it and gently pushing it down and getting rid of my scoring marks to make it look a lot cleaner. This clay is still very soft. I'm gonna let it sit for a few hours and maybe even till tomorrow. Yes, covered with a bag because the plaster will actually dry up some of my clay. And then I'm gonna clean the feet some more and hopefully I can take it off and I'm gonna show you how to clean the edges. All right, it's letter hard and the edges are blended in. So now I can take it off the mold carefully. It's still a little soft, right? And it's holding its shape. Now we need to fix the edges. 
going to fix the edges by using a rasp, okay? And you're going to do this either over a table or over a trash can. I'm going to use the trash can. So with the rasp, I'm going to even out the edges. This way I can get rid of the bumps that shouldn't be there. Right, the rasp is only touching the higher, the elevated areas. Okay, that looks pretty good. And to the other side. Right, and I can clean the edges now with my sponge. Just a damp sponge, not too wet. Clean your edges.